software as a service subscription model, is booming in this internet and cloud storage age. Research suggests that by 2022, 53% of all software revenue will be generated from a subscription model. Not only that, 70% of business leaders say subscription business models will be key to their prospects in the years ahead. With the rise of subscription business model in the market, every company is transitioning into subscription and recurring business model. But to manage all the subscriptions, recurring billing, invoicing, revenue analysis, etc., you need to move away from traditional spreadsheets and manual billing. So, to empower your subscription billing business for growth, Inogic has come up with a new advanced billing software, Subscription and Recurring Billing Management. With the help of subscription and recurring billing management software, you save time on managing subscriptions, recurring billing, and tax calculations, and divert your energy in providing top-notch services to the customers. Subscription and recurring billing management comes with analytical dashboards, where you can keep an eye on subscription metrics key to your business health. You can analyze your data for different intervals as per your needs. With the help of these dashboards, you can get access to real-time SaaS or subscription metrics like monthly recurring revenue, annual recurring revenue, subscription churn rate, and much more. Gain insights to grow your business by keeping track of churn and acquisitions rates and fine-tune offerings to maximize subscription revenue growth. You can save these reports for external use in any of the formats you want, or can even print them if required. To understand the benefits of this app better, let us dive into its features with an example. Suppose a firm named Blueview Tech is selling multiple products, and all at different pricing models. It becomes a daunting and complicated task to manage all the plans and pricings for different customers and partners, for different products. But our subscription and recurring billing management app gives Blueview the ability to add multiple products, with different plans and pricing models as per their convenience. Now, suppose, Mistings Limited, one of the partners of Blueview, is interested in two of their products for their client Smart InvoTech. Let us see how Patrick, a salesperson in Blueview, will handle the business with the help of subscription and recurring billing management app in his CRM. Patrick after converting the lead into opportunity, will select the currency as per their requirements. Then he will add bill to customer and ship to customer respectively in the sales information. Next, since Mistings Limited is a partner of Blueview, there might be some margin percentage agreed between both, and the same will be added here. You can find all the margin schedules or create new ones in the margin schedule section. After adding all the required fields, Patrick will save the record. With the help of the subscription and recurring billing management app, you also have the option to add tax schedules here. If you have a sales tax exemption number, you can add the same here. Next, Patrick will go to product line items. Here, after filling in the required details, he will add the products that the client is interested in. To add the products, he needs to click on the Add Product button. A pop-up will appear, where he will click on the Show Subscription Fields toggle button. He will add the product from the catalog and then add the plan the client has agreed to. Add the commitment period in the respective field, and then go to the subscriber count and add the total number of subscribers. And then just click on the Save and Close button to finish adding the product. As you can see, the total amount will be calculated along with the subscriber count for the selected product. Similarly, Patrick added the other product click to clone as per the client's requirements. Similarly, if the product has any add-ons and the client wants it, Patrick can just select the product, click on the add-on button, and add the add-on along with the add-on plan and total user count. After adding all the products and the product line items, the total detail amount will be displayed along with the partner margin discount and the total tax amount calculated automatically. Since Blueview needs to generate quote first according to their company policy, Patrick will click on quotes and then on new quote. Doing this, all the details of this opportunity will be copied to new quote generated. Patrick will activate this quote and only after he gets confirmation from their partner, he will convert this quote into a subscription schedule. Patrick has sent the client the quote. It so happens that after receiving the quote, the client changed his mind and does not want the add-on. To remove the add-on from the quote now, Patrick needs to go to the add-on record and switch off the toggle button of convert to subscription. This will prevent the add-on product line from carrying over while conversion. Then the quote will be converted into a subscription schedule in just one click, using the convert to subscription button on the ribbon bar. Now the subscription schedule has been created. Patrick can add the refund options if there are any using the refund mode feature. 
Now, let us go to subscription schedule along with Patrick to see what more features subscription schedule has to offer. The start date and end date of the subscription are populated here automatically along with the billing cycle. The next field shows the total duration of the subscription schedule, which here is for 12 months. This makes the total invoice count as 12. With every invoice generated each month, the number of counts here will be decreased accordingly. Sometimes it happens that your client fails to process payments and, in that case, you can also set a delayed charge schedule. It is a penalty fee the client must pay, when the invoice or orders are past due. To help clients avoid delayed charge schedules, Patrick can set reminder schedules, where he can send an automated mail to the customer regarding their bill and its due date. Next, Patrick will go to invoice where an invoice will be automatically generated using workflow triggers. In the invoice section, all the fields will be populated as per the subscription schedule. Patrick will now create a payment record for the amount that has been already paid, by clicking on the new payment button. After choosing the payment method which can be either cash or credit or check, he will put the amount paid along with the reference number and then save the record. The amount paid will be deducted and the due amount will reflect here. Once the total payment is done, Patrick will click on the invoice paid button, and another payment record with the rest of the amount will be created there by completing the process. The due amount is now zero and is reflected here. Sometimes, it so happens that the clients change the plan in the middle of the month. Just like how Mistings Limited wanted to increase their Maplytics users by 10. In such cases, Patrick will generate a new quote associated with the original subscription schedule. Then he will add the product for which the subscriber count has been increased by the client. While adding the product, enter the new count of users that is to be added. In the Apply Charges section, Patrick can choose from three different options viz immediately, immediately prorated, and start from next billing cycle. After choosing the appropriate option, click on Save and Close button. Patrick will then activate the quote. Then the quote will be converted into a subscription schedule in just one click. As you can see, the number of users of Maypolitics increased from 20 to 30 as per the requirement of Patrick's client. And, while moving on to the invoice section, a negative and a positive invoice has been generated, so as to update the increase in invoice amount due to the increase in the user count. And the best thing is that, Patrick does not have to create the whole subscription schedule again when their client's subscription ends and they want to renew it. They can just click on the copy button on top, and a new subscription with all the details will be created. Subscriptions managed. Invoices generated. Payments are done. Blueview is no longer stuck with the manual and error-prone method of managing subscriptions and billings. And with SaaS and subscription metrics dashboards right at their fingertips, they can scale their business growth easily. Looks like Blueview Tech is set to reach new heights. Subscription and recurring billing management's agile integration with Dynamics 365 CRM automates all aspects of your subscription business including provisioning, recurring billing, invoicing, revenue recognition, and catalog management. Its flexibility allows you to rapidly make changes to meet customer demands. Empower your business by downloading the solution now, for a free trail period of 15 days, from our website or Microsoft App Source. For more such productivity apps, head on to our website, or drop us a mail at crm at inogic.com with your business requirements. Follow us on our social media platforms for everyday updates on our products and much more.